A Pakistani passenger plane has crashed into a residential area in Karachi. 99 people were on board. The Pakistan International Airlines flight had taken off from the eastern city of Lahore and was about to land when it came down. The crash comes just days after the country resumed commercial flights as it eased coronavirus restrictions. And our correspondent Michelle Mohudin joins us now. Michelle, what more can you tell us on this plane crash? Because we're getting some reports that saying that there are some survivors and then some conflicting reports on the status of these passengers. Well, so far, this is still a developing news story. So no confirmed number has been released by the official authorities. But because the plane crashed in the residential area, the damage and the casualties are expected to be in much greater number. Um, the flight was actually on board from uh, Lahore to uh, Karachi. And uh, now the emergency um, uh, an emergency has been declared in all the major hospitals in Karachi. People are being uh, rushed to hospitals and uh, the army and the rangers along with the civil administration has reached the scene and they are helping with the rescue and relief efforts. But like I said, it's still a developing uh, situation. So no confirmed number of casualties or the injured has been released yet. There are multiple uh, stories coming out, but they're all varying numbers. Michelle, this comes shortly after the country started resuming flights after the lockdown, didn't it? Um, yes, as we know that Eid is just around the corner and there was a rising demand uh, from the people uh, in Pakistan to uh, resume domestic flight operations because a lot of people had been struck in uh, different cities. So they wanted to get back home. So there was a, only a limited um, flight operation was started in Pakistan, uh, only a very limited flights were operating and overall um, about 67 to 68 flights were scheduled to um, operate domestically before Eid. But that was, um, but now as uh, this plane crash has happened, uh, an investigation uh, will be carried out. So um, yeah, this, this might affect the resumption of flights that had been allowed by the government. Okay, thanks for giving us up to speed with that. Michelle Mohudin giving us the latest from Islamabad.